Howdy everybody. This is Monday the 9th of January 2023. And I did something this last week. I didn't film it because, you know, I was at somebody else's house. But now we're here, back to the orchard, and I'll show you what we did. We spent money already this year. Let me flip the camera. We've got our nice H&H &H trailer. Starting to get kind of wore out because we've used it quite a little bit. But I have a whole load of stuff. I have a three-point disc that's seven foot. I have a Quaker 80 loader. It's a four foot wide bucket that goes on the Yanmar 2210. We've got a five foot blade, a five foot tiller that's the same as my other one, even though this one is missing some teeth in the PTO and a little bit rough. I can use this for parts for my other one because it's got the panel on the back. I have a nice four foot bush hog. Thing looks new. It looks like they mowed around it and threw grass on it, but it doesn't look like it's hardly been used. We did pull the PTO shaft off to haul it because I didn't want to lose it because I've done that once. The other side of the 2210, I should say, that tire's brand new last February and hasn't been drove on hardly. This one's getting pretty rough. It looks like they were chewing on some gravel with it. It probably will be replaced this summer. Uh, trying to decide if we go rice and canes on both or if we just see if we can't find one like that other one. But then we got a little three-point cultivator thing. The other side of the nice loader. And the tiller, or the disc on this side. Uh, it's not, the blade, or the loader's not hooked up because the tractor is not running. The gentleman had a head or put a head gasket on it and in the process it run Monday but now it won't it wouldn't crank over first thing we noticed is the bracket that holds the radiator in isn't bolted on the ground hooks up to the other side uh, we did throw a battery on it with jumper cables to crank it over because I wasn't gonna buy a tractor that the motor didn't spin over and the one injector is loose. It's blowing fuel up past it. So I know how to fix that. I think the first thing we're going to do is drain the fuel out and put new fuel in it because it only holds five gallon and that's really cheap insurance. We're going to do that. The oil looks really good in the transmission and the motor. Uh, it, I think it just needs some love and some wiring issues fixed and it should be and fix the injector. It should be fine. I do need to order a seat for it because that one sucks. Uh, it's falling apart, but my other Yanmar, my 1810, it uh, had a brand new seat on it when I got it. I know where I can order it, they're like 60 bucks. Pretty reasonable. Um, it, it looks like it's gonna be a really good fit for us. This is a 2210 that makes this a 22 horsepower. My other Yanmar, if you've been around for a while, is an 1810. It has 18 horsepower. So this one has more power and the little bitty loader that I have already come up with multiple things that this will be handy. I was going to see about selling it, but the more I think about it, the more I think I'm going to try to get it to, or get the tractor going and keep it. Um, since it has the hydraulics already hooked up for the loader, it won't take very much for me to plumb in. A hydraulic fitting on the back I will just have to get a lever to run it and then I can hook uh, something with hydraulics to the back of it um, I do think we are going to modify this drawbar uh, I rebuilt one for the other one I think this one I don't like the c-shape drawbar on it uh, mainly because it I feel it's too far in I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure it and see if I can uh, get a chunk of two inch receiver tube. And I think it will just fit in there and I can weld it on and then we can just put receiver hitches on the back. And then it'll be easy to take on and off. It's short, it'll be handy, and it'll be awesome. So we've got lots of new stuff. I did not spend near as much money as I was anticipating. Uh, the gentleman come down on price really, really quick. 
And that was my thought going, heck yeah. And I know what I looked this tractor up for on the internet, two wheel drive without the loader. The cheapest I could find was about $7,000. I bought all of this for less than half. Um, I'm pretty happy. I know to buy this loader brand new, which this one doesn't seem like it's hardly been used. It looks like it's sat longer than it's been used because the tip, the cutting edge is pretty dang nice. <laughs> it's not war at all. Um, to go buy this new is a, just short of $2,000. Just the loader. And I don't have a whole lot more than that in it on everything. <laughs> And then I know this is a four foot. They had a five foot at Tractor Supply for about $1,900 or 18. I don't remember, I forget now. Uh, so this is even used easy. This is still a thousand dollar mower probably. So I'm pretty well all my money in right there. And we still got the tiller for parts for my other one, the disc, the blade, the cultivator, and the tractor yet. So I wasn't gonna buy anything this year, but this will make it really, really nice uh, to have a spare for the other Yanmar. Uh, if one, I get this one running, and then this one will have a 15 forward gears and five reverses. My other one has nine forward gears and three reverses. So I'll have a few more gears uh, for doing some of the stuff we do out here like tilling and cultivating sometimes it's nice to have more gear range or uh, options uh, it does not have the side panels I need to find them that is one of the things I'd like to do uh, it needs a new fuel cap it's got the fuel gauge in the top and the little piece of plastic on the top is broke out so they cut the Gatorade bottle to fit to keep the rain out which makes sense but for the 30 bucks it costs for the new one we're gonna buy the new one. <laughs> it makes it look nicer. The hood does have a really big dent. I'm not so sure. They... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Got a tickle. Uh, I'm not so sure they didn't have the loader up and the hood come open and dented it. Cause I mean, it's a perfect straight across dent. Uh, I don't know how else you would have done that. Uh, the seat is bad. We will order a new one of those. Uh, we are going to make sure and check this. It does need new battery cables. He put one of these little bitty tiny car, not even hardly big enough for a car battery on it. And I know these diesels crank harder-ish compared to a car. So I want to put good battery cables on it. I do think we are going to look at putting some uh, LED lights on this. Uh, forward and back just so we can see a little better. Uh, I am going to get to the point we are going to have to start doing some stuff in the dark uh, with everything I plan on having going on this year. So we are going to do that. Um, it does need a battery, but batteries are reasonably easy to come by. Uh, the brakes did work. Looks like I'm missing a pin right there, which that's easy enough fix. Um, that's everything. It's just, it needs little bitty things. I did find the loader bracket is broke right here that's cracked on both sides. The other side is loose. The bolts are out right here. That'll be easy fix. I do have the pins for the loader. I do have the hoses for the loader. I've got the brackets. Uh, the goal is to get all of this unloaded and mess with the tractor and then we'll worry about hooking the loader up. Oh, I just noticed this. It's got a bunch of gravel shoved in the wheel. I do know the guy said that when he had it last year, he used it for pushing snow, cleaning driveways and stuff. This would be really good. So that made me think I probably should look for a set of tire chains for it. Uh, they're not a priority considering, I don't know if I'll even have this running to push snow with it this year, but I think for next year, I think I'm gonna take it to my house and use this for my snow pushing. I do have my big case there with the blade right now, but I like the loader. <laughs> I was gonna sell it, but the more and more I, I keep talking myself into leaving it, because I always thought a little tractor with a loader 
it's kind of dumb because you can't pick anything up because you're going to end up trying to pick something up and get scared, sketchy with it. My wife's favorite thing is it does have a roll bar, so that way when I tip it over, this one over, I don't hurt myself as bad. And then we do have a big ass tractor right there. That's a 4020 with a 100 horsepower with a big loader. So we aren't going to try to get crazy with it because we have that one. So this one will be nice to get in places where that one won't fit and we can use the loader like cleaning out pins for manure and moving gravel in the new greenhouse and even putting the heaters and stuff in. This one will drive between the posts where nothing else will. Uh, it'll be pretty handy. Um, I'm really excited to get this going and using it because I think it'll be awesome. But I've already bought a tractor this year. Lord help me. Uh, oh well, can't wait to buy another one, you know. Maybe I'll just buy one every year and you know, this one just, the deal come up on Facebook. My brother actually found it. He was trying to figure out how to get it. I financed it. Uh, lucky, <laughs> luckily I talked uh, my banker, personal banker into loaning me money. So I'll have to pay him back for it. Uh, we gotta get some parts ordered for it just because, but I wanna mess with it real quick so I can ship everything at once. Uh, that's what I know. Uh, we'll probably build our own battery cables maybe. I don't know, maybe we'll do a video on it. Maybe I won't, I don't know. Battery cables are pretty easy. Um, we'll see what we can find, but I didn't know. I was gonna get the stuff to work on them the other day when I was at the store, but I didn't know 100% how long of anything I needed. And I figured it was better to not worry about it. Uh, but that's what I know. Uh, oh, we started tomato seeds in the greenhouse. Maybe we'll do a video in the greenhouse this week. Maybe we'll try to do one greenhouse video a week and kind of show what we have going on. And even if we do several things, maybe we'll stitch them all together and make, that'll be maybe my new year thing. Try to do greenhouse, a garden, and then some of our other stuff, try to do that. Um, and maybe we'll alternate what we have going on. If we have a lot of something going on, we'll do more videos of that. If we don't, we'll try to rotate videos. I still need to go up into my trees and work on my shelter. I haven't got that done for a while. I haven't been up there forever. Uh, between deer season, winter, cold, working here, I don't know. My disc needs rebuilt here. Uh, I'm trying to decide what to do with it. Uh, it's super handy to have. It just, it it's used. It's not new. Um, it won't take too long, I don't think, to do it. Uh, it's just one of them things. Get some blades for it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 blades shouldn't be too bad to do. I'm trying to decide if I just leave it the way it is and try to make it work and then worry about blades later or what. One of them things I undecided, but oh well. Now I'm rambling and thanking too much so i better let you guys go and you guys have a happy day and a good year and we'll see you in the next video